I'm Heather from Smart Mama. Today we're going to talk about how to deal with poop when you're using cloth. So when you're going out with your child, um, most people carry a wet bag. This is a wet bag example. Um, the wet bags are, you know, um, wipeable inside and washable. They're, uh, many of them are antimicrobial to deal with the germs that come with it. But really, who wants to put a poopy diaper into a wet bag when you're walking around the mall, right? So um, we have some ways to deal with it. Now we'll say this is my most popular question, especially with dads um, who maybe haven't read up as much on cloth diapering as mom. Um, but basically what you're gonna do is uh, use the wet bag when you're out. But if you don't want to carry around that poopy diaper, there's some tools that we have. This is a great invention. It's called the BioSoft Liner. It's made by Bummies. Um, Grovia makes one as well. Um, it comes at different sizes too. So it's really, it looks like a dryer sheet. Um, you get a hundred on a roll. And um, what you do is you tear off a sheet and you're gonna put it in between the baby's skin and the cloth diaper. So what this does is it creates um, a barrier for solids. So the wetness still goes down into the diaper, but the solids stay on top of the BioSoft liner. So what's great about this is if you're in the changing room of the mall, let's say, and your baby's pooped, you just simply scoop up the BioSoft liner just um, like you would a baby wipe, really, and then you flush it. So then you don't have to walk around with a poopy diaper in your wet bag. It's a great tip. Um, something similar, Bummies also makes, are fleece liners. They're very thin. Um, you can do the exact same thing with the fleece liners. Of course, you can't flush the fleece liner, so a lot of people prefer the bio liners um, for flushing. But this still gives you that barrier in between your, your diaper and um, the solids. Now, when you're home, and you know, if you don't want to use these bio liners every single time you change your baby um, to save a little bit of money, I would not do cloth without a diaper sprayer. Now, the diaper sprayer actually hooks up to your plumbing on your toilet, and you ha it, it hangs on your wall. So when you're ready um, to clean your baby's diaper, you're just going to simply spray the solids into the toilet and flush. Now, in the old days, what they used to do is soak poopy diapers, and it's just really disgusting. I've actually done it myself um, because my child was potty training and he messed up his very expensive training pants and I didn't want to throw them away, so I ended up soaking them. Um, I tried, you know, spray, you know, getting it out with a shower head or whatever, and that's just gross. You don't want poop in your shower. You don't want poop in your kitchen sink. So this is um, such a great invention because it puts the poop where it belongs in the toilet. So um, it's really easy to use. It, it stops you from soaking. You just spray it off after the baby poops and um, put it, put the diaper into your diaper pail, you know, as, as just a wet diaper, not a poopy diaper. So I hope I've converted some of you people that um, are scared of dealing with poop with cloth diapers. It's really a lot easier than it used to be. And thank you so much. This is Heather from Smart Mama.